In the last video, we have studied about hydroelectric power plant, its construction, working, site selection and so on. The video link is in the description box. In that working part, we saw the new term known as turbines. What was its functions? It converts kinetic energy into mechanical energy and then mechanical energy to electrical energy through generator. So, in this video, we will study in detail about turbines, what are they and their types. Let's see the introduction of turbine. Before moving to definition of turbine and how it works, let's first understand the meaning of word from which turbine has derived its name. The word turbine has been derived from the Latin word turbo, which means to spin. Now, you can easily relate to the meaning of the word the turbine, which rotates about its own axis. Let's see its definition. A turbine is a mechanical device which is used to convert energy from moving fluid into mechanical energy. This mechanical energy can further be used to either generate electricity or to perform any other useful work. It is mainly used in power plant industries to generate electric power. It can be classified as hydraulic turbines, steam turbine, gas turbine and wind turbine. Main parts of turbine First is inlet or nozzle. It guides the fluid to flow in design direction and velocity. Second is runner. It is the rotating part of turbine and blades are attached to the runner. Blades. It is that part of turbine on which fast moving fluid strikes and rotates the runner. Casing. It is the outer air tight covering of the turbine which contains the runner and blades, it protects the internal part of turbine. Hydraulic turbine The turbine used in hydroelectric power plant are water turbines which have water as their working fluid. First of all, millions of liters of water is collected in the dam. More the height of dam, more the pressure. The highly pressurized water is then made to flow by a large pipe called as penstock. The turbine is located at the end of the penstock from where the pressurized water strikes the blade of turbine at high velocity making it to rotate. This turbine is connected to a generator which generates electricity. Now let's see the classifications of hydraulic turbine. The hydraulic turbines are classified on the following basis. According to type of energy available at inlet, impulse turbine. If energy available at inlet of turbine is only kinetic energy, the turbine is known as impulse turbine. Reaction turbine. If energy available at inlet of turbine is kinetic energy as well as pressure energy, the turbine is known as reaction turbine. According to direction of flow, Tangential flow turbine, if water flows along the tangent of runner, turbine is known as tangential flow turbine. For example, Pelton turbine. Radial flow turbine, if water flows in radial direction through runner, the turbine is called as radial flow turbine. Axial flow turbine, if water flows through the runner along the direction Parallel to the axis of rotation of runner, the turbine is known as axial flow turbine. Mixed flow turbine. If water flows through the runner in radial direction but leaves in the direction parallel to the axis of rotation of runner, the turbine is called as mixed flow turbine. For example, Kaplan turbine. According to head at inlet of turbine, high head turbine. The net head varies in this turbine is from 150 to 2000 meter 
or even more it requires small quantity of water medium head turbine in this turbine net head varies from 30 meter to 150 meter it requires moderate quantity of water low head turbine in low head turbine net head is less than 30 meter it requires large quantity of water according to specific speed of turbine low specific speed of turbine it has specific speed less than 50 medium specific speed of turbine specific speed of medium turbine varies from 50 to 250 high specific speed of turbine specific speed is more than 250 steam turbine a turbine which extract energy from moving steam and convert it into electrical energy is called as steam turbine it consists not only rotating blades called as rotor but also static blades called as stator rotor and stator are placed alternately in order to extract most energy out of it this method is called as compounding the steam flow through high pressure turbine followed by intermediate pressure turbine then again after reheating the steam it is made to flow through low pressure turbine the reason behind increasing the blade size for inner side to outer side is because steam expand while losing its pressure and kinetic energy and giving it to the turbine let's see the types of steam turbine according to steam action impulse turbine reaction turbine according to direction of steam flow axial flow turbine radial flow turbine according to exhaust condition of steam condensing turbine non condensing turbine according to pressure of steam high pressure turbine medium pressure turbine low pressure turbine according to number of stages single stage turbine multi stage turbine gas turbine gas turbine in other words are internal combustion engine which are not only used in power plant for generating electricity but also for propelling airplanes and helicopters gas turbine as a whole system has an axial compressor at the inlet these are sets of rotating blades which suck huge amount of air and compress it which also increases the temperature this air is then supplied to the combustion chamber fuel is added into the combustion chamber and igniter ignites the fuel thus large amount of exhaust gas are produced which are made to flow through turbines let's see the classifications of gas turbine according to path of working substance closed cycle gas turbine open cycle gas turbine and semi closed gas turbine in closed cycle gas turbine the air is continuously circulated within the turbine in open cycle gas turbine air is not circulated continuously the air after flowing over the blades of turbine exhausted in the atmosphere and in semi closed gas turbine as the name indicates it is a combination of both the turbines one working on the open cycle and the other on the closed cycle according to process of heat absorbed constant pressure gas turbine constant volume gas turbine in constant pressure gas turbine air is heated at constant pressure and in constant volume gas turbine air is heated at constant volume in combustion chamber according to types turbojet turbofan and ramjet wind turbine wind turbines are a boon to mankind affordable clean and sustainable some wind farms are so big that they could produce 50 megawatt of power well coming to working of wind turbine 
the story remains the same as other turbines. The rotor has three blades and are designed in such a way that when wind flows straight through them, they start rotating. The only problem here is wind turbine rotates at a very low RPM. The low RPM doesn't produce electricity of required frequency and that is why we require a gearbox which increase speed of shaft. The output shaft is then coupled to the generator. Let's see the types of wind turbine. Horizontal axis wind turbine. A wind turbine in which shaft of turbine is horizontal to ground is called horizontal axis wind turbine. In other words, if axis of rotation of turbine blades are horizontal to ground, then it is known as horizontal axis wind turbine. Vertical axis wind turbine. A wind turbine in which shaft of turbine is vertical to ground is called vertical axis wind turbine. In other words, if axis of rotation of turbine blades are vertical to ground, then turbine is known as vertical axis wind turbine. This is all about turbine and its types. In the next video, we will see important turbine in detail. If you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe it. And if you found anything missing or incorrect, then do comment us.